Welcome everyone to Vital Life Energy Formulas and today's webinar. We are going over anyone's questions and giving our view on the question to the answer that we would and recommend and treatments to do, as well as obviously the amino acid program that we suggest with the cofactors of vitamins, minerals, the Vital Life Energy Formulas. We don't treat, diagnose, cure, profess a cure of any sort of disease. And uh, we use the iridology as a way to analyze where and where both inherited strengths and also weaknesses are showing up through the iris and then where and what we need to do with treatments along with the program to see where the res resistance is in the iris. And then we follow up each month seeing the healing as well as any stress or environmental toxin or viral activity and what we might be going through as we go on a 28-day cycle, a monthly cycle with our immune response and our thymus from stem cells in the bone marrow that are released into the thymus and uh, then maturing over the 28 days with the lunar cycle for both us males and also for us females, which when I say that, we have both male and female in, within us. Okay, so I'm going to share a photograph today on a strong constitution and a weaker constitution. And I've got two photos there that you will see up on the screen of a uh, blue eye. And uh, blue eyes tend to show more detail in the photographs. I can see the details in a brown eye, but they tend to show with a person teaching people about the iridology or the iridology. The blue eye shows it. You know, you can see things clearer with a blue eye than a brown eye. I've seen very, very dark eyes, and uh, it's more difficult to show the individual what I'm seeing. I mean, I've seen irises where they're to the point of being kind of black, um, which means there's a lot of toxin that's been passed on through generations. Um, as it goes with colours, there's blue and there's brown, and uh, in between which is the hazily green that we're seeing with a little bit of these two irises that I have, have up on the screen. So what I'm sharing today is the constitutional makeup of our inherited makeup with our genes from our mother and our father and also many generations back. We do see the iris to show where we all have strengths and weaknesses, but there's no perfect eye seen. The, everybody shows a weakness and everybody shows strengths. So it's more for us to use the iris as a diagnostic tool, not treating disease, but where there's more toxin, where there's stress, where there's environmental chemical, where there's a virus, which we cannot diagnose what virus a person might have active. We can see where the virus is located and what area of the body that it's affecting. And then the photographs are really to show and then set up treatment and program for you. And then in a month's time, looking at the iris again and seeing where and where the changes are and the differences are and if there is anything else that needs to be looked at or it's going deeper in the healing too because the eye is not just a flat surface, it's three-dimensional. So as a layer peels off the iris, you're going into like an, a, 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 you know, like an onion peel all right, or like a flower bud, a rosebud that you're peeling off the petals to get to the internal part. And that's the reason that things can come up in the iris that weren't showing up in one photograph to another. As you're going through the healing and regeneration, the layers peeling off and you're going into yourself and going deeper within your, your internal healing and your genetics, as well as any past toxin or trauma too. So it's not a negative when we're sharing the things that are, say, you know, out of balance. Uh, it's more a, a positive to know where and what we need to do. And then obviously the inspirational part is about seeing it change. Now, these are two different irises. They're not the same, but I'm showing you constitution because it's easier when we can look at somebody else's eye than looking at ourselves. We all tend to be a bit more critical of ourselves when we're looking at somebody else. It's better, it's easier for us to observe when we're looking at somebody else's irises. So I'm showing you constitution. And what I'm showing you is that this iris here on the left, where you see my mouse circling, you don't really see it. There's a few little breakage of the fibers, but there's not too many breakages of the fibers. Where if you look 
at this iris, you can see there's holes. There's deep grooves and hot holes in the iris. Um, and so this is showing you the strength of the individual. So this is actually showing a person that's actually got a very strong constitution. And this is showing where a person has more of a weakened constitution. Very headstrong, this person, because there's not too many broken fibers across the top. There's the fibers are um, they're open, they're you know spiraling out, they're not knitted straight together, like how you see this iris shows how the fibers are knitted closer to each other, where the iris in this photograph is showing they're more opened and and you know squiggly, right? Moving out. So where there's deeper grooves within the iris, like a crater, when you're looking at the moon and you're seeing these craters on the moon. So that, that's what you're looking at. You're looking into the iris fiber and these are craters, which are actually genetic lesions. Not a lesion like a growth or a tumor, but a lesion where it's inherited weakness passed on from generations. What I'm seeing is this person does have a very strong mentally uh, and, uh, constitutionally has a weaker constitution because it, you can see even though the fibers are fairly straight at the top they're still more we uh, weavy they're more open there's more squiggly if that's the right word for it so you can see uh, that the person's constitution is of a poorer genetic makeup now what does that actually mean what does the constitution actually mean when you look at the photograph on the left side of the screen where my mouse is you're seeing how strong that individual is in their constitution now what it actually means is that it's the ability when you have a strong constitution you have the ability to hold on to nutrients get rid of metabolic waste carry on with cellular activities you have a very strong you know, uh, metabolism and, and energy flow. And so um, if you get sick, you can respond and heal very quickly when you get sick or you don't get sick that often. Uh, though what happens with a strong constitution, they don't tend to fix the things along the way. They tend to do things that are not healthy for oneself, whether that's drinking or whether alcohol that is, or, you know, you know eating the wrong foods. You know, they tend to do things over-exercising because that's cortisol, stress hormone. So they tend to do things that push the, their physical body and they don't tend to, you know, tend to things along the way and they can burn out. Where a person that has a weaker constitution like the iris on the right-hand side of the screen, they're literally forced to take care of themselves. They can't just eat whatever they want to eat. They can't just go out drinking, all right? They get seriously ill and it takes them longer to recover and so that's the constitution so we're always sharing that the constitution that is the weakened fibers in the iris is actually a blessing in disguise because that person's constitution doesn't allow them to do things that are not so healthy for oneself because they'll get seriously ill and it takes them so much longer to recover so they're forced to eat better and not you know, party too much and they're forced to take care of themselves where a person with a stronger constitution will tend to abuse themselves and get away with it and be able to keep going. But it catches up if we don't fix it along the way. So the stronger constitution uh, tend to abuse it and then it can burn out where a weaker constitution are forced to look after themselves as we're sharing, it's a blessing in disguise. So what it means is when you have a weaker constitution, your metabolism, your metabolic cycle, your digestion, there's, there's more of a sensitivity than a person who has a stronger constitution. But as we're sharing, it's a blessing in disguise when you have a weaker constitution. So that gives you the understanding of constitutions. Um, so a person that has a strong constitution can be rapidly burnt out if they don't look after themselves, but a strong constitution, a weaker constitution cared for can have good health and a long life. That's the thing where a person has a strong constitution will not necessarily pay attention and fix things along the way and overdo things and drink and smoke and do all the wrong things. And then they can burn out. 
but also they might have a long life too. They might go to 95, but it shows up in the next generation. So we've seen that where somebody has a very strong constitution and, you know, they drink, they smoke, you know, they eat whatever, they live to 95, 100, but it's their offspring that inherit the weakness that we see in the in the iris, we see it show up in the next constitu in the next genetic makeup. So it will affect, even though that person might have, you know inherit a really strong constitution, uh, it can pass on to the next generation. That's the uh, exciting part about seeing irises is when you see parents, grandparents, and then grandchildren. And you see the iris and you see the genetic fibers in the iris and you see from the grandparent to the parent to the child and you see the same lesion or the genetic inherited weakness in all three generations. But then when we see that and then we see grandparent, mother, and then mother and father are on the amino acids, which are the DNA healthy proteins that regenerate the genes. And then we take a look at the child's eye and we see healing in the genetic makeup on the parents from the grandparents to the parents. And then the parents take the amino acids to activate the healthy DNA proteins that regenerate. And then what we see in that offspring is the healing. So we don't see the same lesion. That's where you learn when you start to see so many irises and you see generations. It's how you learn. So I hope that helps everybody to understand constitution. Everybody shows strength. Like I was showing the weaker constitution. You could see the fibers, even though they were more opened and spiraling out, but you could see the fibers in that person's iris in the top of the eye were very, you know, strong. They weren't craters. They weren't, you know, deep grooves in the actual fibers. There are um, strength in the top half of the iris. So the person is very, very strong mentally. It's integrating all bodies, right? The physical, the emotional, the mental. And obviously that's all our spiritual growth that we all are, you know, aspiring for and we're all seeking. Um, so it has to be all intertwined. So, yeah, the physical, the emotional and the mental. So the emotional body can affect us physically. So we, you know, being positive too in our you know, swiping right, swiping left and not focusing on the negativity and going to the positivity is a very important part of our health and well-being as well. So the emotional, the physical, as well as the mental body are all intertwined. As Jeff has shared many times over is that the subconscious brain is the colon that feeds the conscious brain and then the reproductive organs is the emotional brain and it's balancing above and below and the brain's what controls the entire body but it's fed from below and so dr stone's understanding of the five point star and the six point star which is the male and the female energy which is what we're doing with the program with your casserole packs and with your amino acid formulas with the vital life energy formulas with clay uh, aloe vera foot baths, you know, all the different treatments that many of you know about that we help with and suggest to do is all balancing that five point, six pointed star so that the conscious mind is able to you know, send the hormone throughout the body to all the endocrine glands to stimulate regeneration. The stem cells get released from the bone marrow into the blood, into your thymus, to your liver and activate the healing from within, from inside out. And that's how healing goes. It's from internal, from inside out, and then the head down because the brain's what controls the entire body. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining and listening.